would you check out this piece of junk? It's beautiful. Not really. I picked up this table. I'm not going to tell you how I picked it up. All I can tell you is that it was legal and no kids were involved. On a serious note though, if kids were involved, they, uh, they learned their lesson. For sure. On a serious note, again, this was picked up off the side of the road. I think it looks absolutely terrible. There's a, I don't, I don't even know what this is. It's got this funky thing though that spins. The top is terrible. There is a keyboard tray underneath here. Um, besides that, it's still a piece of junk. Now, I could just sand this, maybe paint it, but I think that's what the weaker man would have done. My wife can smell fear, so I can't be weak. And if um, she smells fear, then she won't make me tacos. And I really like tacos. Okay, step one, take off the top. Then get a good luck hug from your kid. I promise that was not my gum, but moving on. After top's removed, clean off your base and paint it the same color as your sole. Next, you want to make sure that you use properly maintained clamps. Also, make sure that the clamps are absolutely ridiculously oversized to make sure that you can apply proper force. Then when done, celebrate. Okay, seriously, get back to work. When things go according to plan, do celebratory games. Look at me go. I'm so awesome. Now, a quick word from me. Keyboard tray. Looked great. Super happy with it. I had to cut it. Um, Width wise, whatever. It's not as deep now, so when you're sliding it in and out, you don't have that much depth. So, um, I was thinking, eh, screw it, I'll just go with it. But then I kind of felt it out on the existing keyboard, and it really needs those extra few inches. Uh, it's a sign from God because we need something to kind of stabilize it. So, I think slapping a piece of walnut right there at the end will help strengthen our excellent planned project. Okay, so I also just realized that ingrain is not going to take glue or a screw very well at all, but I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut a slot here all the way down the middle and essentially kind of breadboard end it, but reverse breadboard. A board bread. We're gonna board bread it. Yes. Fantastic. Good job, me. You definitely sounded very intelligent.
Now take some time to smooth over your rough edges. Make sure and get all the sweet spots. And yes, I can drum this fast. This is not sped up at all. Hmm, what are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. It's a very interesting looking rock. I wonder what it's made out of. Oh, it tastes so good. When you apply finish, you need to make sure you do it in long, strong strokes to make sure that love is evenly applied to the surface. Make sure to not kill your dog with activating spray. Also, make sure your wife is not in your shop. She will interrupt your feed like that. Very mature. That was supposed to break. It's okay. We're done, baby. Boom! Look how good this looks. Oh, the rock. Oh, my shadow. Yes, those are natural formed bubbles in my backyard. What do you guys think? I think it's awesome. I love the colors, love the contrast. It is super smooth to the touch and it makes you want to sit down and do stuff with it. Uh, I'm super happy my son is a thief and decided to steal this off the side of the road. I'm just playing. It, it was garbage again. I said that in the beginning. Someone was throwing this away and they should have. It was in really bad shape. But uh, maybe this gives you guys a few good ideas on things that you can do. Maybe there's something in your house that you've been wanting to get rid of. Be just just because it's not in good shape. This is a really cool video that shows that you can spruce up things that weren't too nice to begin with. Or maybe you just enjoy watching people take trash and turn it into a polished turd. Either way, if that pertains to you and you liked this video, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps motivate us to make more videos. We're trying to make as many videos a week as possible, so you contributing in that way really helps us out. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you have any comments, please leave below. You got any insults, leave those too. I love those. Hope you guys have a good one and stay safe out there. Thank you. Bye. What's great about recording is you can just shoot a bunch of bloopers and just add them at the end of the video. Yeah, as long as you stay right there, you look good. If you move this way a little bit. Like right here? Yeah, it's right. Like this? I don't even have a keyboard, but I don't care. Uh, I, I dig it. I'm super happy that my son is a thief. Seriously, seriously. Love the, just the look, the feel. It's, I couldn't even explain it. Bunch of different adjectives for it. It's still not a well-built piece. I mean, all the, the wooden parts that I made is, is awesome. The same type of salt. Yeah, I probably should have washed it before I licked it, now that I think about it. But it's been like five days now. I think I would find out by now. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Am I mm -hmm. still recording? Uh, it looks good in the sun, looks good in the shade. Uh, so if uh, in the office the sun isn't shining too bright through the window, looks awesome. That was a dumb part of the introduction. Should have said that. No one cares about the sun. Who gives us? No, no one does. Maybe you just enjoyed the video. If any of those things, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pertain. Yeah. Maybe you just... You're a Maybe you just
stop? Does it stop? Please, please. Oh, please.